you. Thank you very much. All right, our band's going to play five seconds of an original holiday song they wrote, and you have to name the very well-known and expensive song it kind of sounds like, <laughs> but is not, and we can prove it. <laughs> All right, I am looking for Jim Blaricum. Jim Blaricum. Where are you? Oh, how conveniently located. How are you, Jim? <laughs> nice to see you. You too. Jim Blaricum. How are you, pal? Good. Where are you from, Jim? Brooklyn. You're from Brooklyn? Yeah. You came a long way just to see this show. Just to see the show. No other plans? Not nope. doing anything else? Nope. Flying in, seeing this show, and leaving immediately? Yeah. <laughs> Playing in one hour. Okay. Uh, fantastic. And I love the fact that you have a beard, and so does your clearly bootlegged E.T. It's Mr. E.T. <laughs> well, that's Mr. E.T. Mr. E.T. I, I love this guy. I love the people that come and see me live. <laughs> All right, here's your clue. You got you ready for this? All right. <clears throat> Jim, if we tried to play this holiday classic about a magical snowman, we'd receive a frosty visit from the songwriter's lawyer. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Jim, what famous holiday song did that sort of sound like, but definitely wasn't? Frosty the Snowman. Oh, oh right. yeah. Yes, Jim. Yes. That might. That might have reminded you of Frosty the Snowman, but I assure you it was our own 100% original holiday song, Coldy the Slush Guy. <laughs> and here to sing it is a man whose music has achieved international success in the torturing of North Korean political prisoners, <laughs> a horrible entertainer, I hate this guy, Mr. Brian LaFontaine. Brian. Coldy the slush guy was a silly, silly chap With a yam cigar and a Velcro schnoz And a bunch of frozen crap, yeah Awful, he's an awful, awful performer I'm, I'm spending right. Christmas alone in my Mitsubishi Galant Yes <laughs> He's a lonely, talentless creep uh, Andy, why don't you tell Jim uh, what he's won? He's won a special New Year's Resolution gym membership. After 10 days, it automatically turns into a Taco Bell <laughs> VIP podcast. <laughs> you know. Congratulations. Thank nice you. to meet you. You too. Cheers. Good man. I'm looking for Caitlin Kameski. Caitlin Ka Oh, back here. Yeah, oh, hi. <laughs> hi. How are you? Thank you for being here, Caitlin. You're very beautiful. Thanks oh. for being here on the show. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I did hope I didn't come across as creepy. I was just Horribly offensive. paying you a compliment. You're quite an attractive person. Um, <clears throat> Caitlin, where are you from? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. All the way from Dallas just to see the show and then leaving immediately, right? Immediately. Not visiting family or friends. I wouldn't dream of it. Incredible. The devotion of these people. All right. Caitlin, are you ready to play? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna just feed off your enthusiasm. <laughs> Caitlin, if we tried to get away with playing what is generally considered the most popular and only Hanukkah song, we'd be sued by the law firm of Dreidel, Dreidel, and Dreidel. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Caitlin, what holiday song would most people claim we just ripped off? Dreidel, Dreidel, Dreidel. Yes, All right. The Dreidel song, yes. Okay, well, that may have sounded. That may have sounded like the dreidel song, but I will insist in a court of law, it was our brand new Hanukkah tune, the Jewish Top Song. <laughs> oh, Jewish Top, Jewish Top, Jewish Top, my friend taught me how to play. But I got bored immediately and pretended I had food poisoning and had to leave. Hey! <laughs> terrible. You're the worst. You're the absolute worst. I'm on probation for exposing myself in a Starbucks. Yes. I don't know why he feels the need to add these little gems, but he does. Andy, would you tell Caitlin what she's won? Perfect for any girl, girl's bedroom wall, this cool poster featuring our props department. Look at those props. Yeah. Getting props.
Wow. Cherish that for the rest of your life. I will. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you. you very much. All right. Nassim Barani. Nassim Barani. Where are, oh, Nassim Barani. Okay, here we go. Right down here. Never had to move this much. That thing almost hit my crotch. Hi. How are you? Oh, nice to see you. Oh, okay. Let's just call this segment Conan Pervs Out with the Crowd. Uh, where are you from? Woodland Hills. Woodland Hills. I don't know much. I've lived here for three years. I still don't know where anything is. Where is Woodland Hills? It's not far. It's like 20 minutes away. Nothing's 20 minutes away in L.A. <laughs> what you mean is it's 45 minutes yeah, away. Exactly. There's no such thing. Everyone says it's 20 minutes. It's not 20 minutes. Yeah, we, we like to think that it'll be 20 minutes. And are you a student? Or are yeah, you... I'm a student. Where do you go to school? Pierce College. Oh, very good. What are you studying? Psychology. Okay. Maybe you could help me after the show. I can. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, <laughs> Nassim, if we tried to play this Spanish language holiday song by Jose Feliciano, he would sue so hard, would wish we were Feliz Navi dead. <laughs> yes. Okay. What holiday song will I swear in a court we did not just rip off? Feliz Navi dead. Feliz Navi right. dead. Yes. Yeah. You know, you might think it's Feliz Navidad, but I assure you it was our own Spanish holiday song, Lorenzo Lamas. <laughs> Lorenzo Lamas. Lorenzo Lamas. Lorenzo Lamas. And a Christmas taco with extra sauce. Yeah. <laughs> awful. Just awful. I can't come within 50 yards of Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> Just a little, little tidbit. Thank you, pal. I don't know why we have you back every time. I work cheap. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, do me a favor, Andy, and tell the lovely Nassim what she has won. It's this set of Faces of Meth holiday ornaments. <laughs> wow. wow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You make sure you put that up, okay? I 